Okay, I'm going to go over how to calculate system reliability for some simple systems. Um, I'm actually doing this for my production operations class. And I got this out, out of a book by Stevenson called Production and Operations Management. Uh, specifically, the name of the class was is uh, Operations Management. Uh, let me look at the book. Yeah, Operations Management uh, 13E by Stevenson. Okay. Um, so anyway, this is going to be a problem like problem 4 in chapter 4S. And it says uh, we're given, of course I'm going to use different probabilities than, than uh, what's in the, the book. So it says we're given... Uh, probably we have two systems one that has a 95% probability of operating and another has 90% probability of operating and um, we want to know what the probability of this whole system is going to operate so for a solution well rule one if two or more events are independent and success is defined as the probability that all the events will occur, then the probability of success is equal to the product of the probabilities of the events. So these are probabilities. This is the probability that's going to succeed. So think like if this one fails, it can't go on. So they both have to go. See, it has to flow through here. So if this breaks, it can't go. So this is basically equal to this times that. Okay? And it'd be an 85.5% probability of success. Okay, very simple. All right, I'm going to highlight the answer yellow. So let's make it a little more complicated now. So now we're going to, I drew these out ahead of time. You could draw these out in Excel. Like if I want to, if I want to like make a box, I would go here and make a box. And I would go merge and center. To, and then if I type a number in here, then it's going to be merged in there, and I can just go ahead and go like that. So that's basically how you make a box, right? So, pretty easy to do. And then, and then uh, let me let me go Control Z a couple times. And then uh, uh, to make a uh, arrow, you just go to Insert Shapes, and you can draw. This little thing will draw an arrow for you anywhere you want, right? So that's why I drew that out. I'm not going to waste your time in this video showing you how to draw things. And, and then I put the numbers in here. All right, so so the next one, it says we're given a backup for each component with a probability it's going to operate at 94%, 94%. Now, it says it has a switch that has a probability to operate at 100%. Well, if it's a 100% probability it's going to operate, we can ignore it because it's always going to, it doesn't really make any difference to the system. So um, there's two ways we could solve this. So I'm going to I'm going to go The first way we could solve it is I'm going to use rule 2. And it says if two events are independent and the success is divided by the probability at least one of the events will occur, then the probability of success is equal to the probability of either one either one plus 1 minus the probability multiplied by the other probability. So that doesn't make much sense, but let me just show you how you do it. Um you go equals what it's trying to say is equal to parentheses. Well, there's a 95% probability this is going to happen. And the other, and if it doesn't happen, well, the probability it doesn't happen is going to be 1 minus 95%. Okay? And if it doesn't happen, well, then if it doesn't happen, we're going to go to here, and there's a 94% probability that'll happen. Okay? So that, that's how I calculate the probability of that. Now, um, so we only did this one, so let's do the next one now. So I'm going to say if you take that times parentheses, well, there's a 90% probability this is going to happen. And if it doesn't happen, then the probability doesn't happen is going to be 1 minus 90%. And then if it doesn't happen, you're going to go down that path. So you have to take it times that and close the parentheses. So the answer would be 
point uh, point nine nine one zero. You can take that probably to four places. Highlight it, make it yellow. Let me copy the formula. Control C, Control V. Okay, so that's rule two. Now you could also use rule three. Uh, sometimes rule three is handy when you have more than one backup. You have more than one backup, and this is actually kind of simpler if you have more than one backup. And rule three says, if two or more events are involved in involved in successes dividing the probability, at least one of them occurs. The probability of success is one minus the probability they all fail. Okay, so we're going to do it that way. So the way that you, way you again, this all makes this doesn't really make sense until we actually do it. Let me do what do it here. So it's equal to well, it said one minus the probability they all fail. Okay, so one minus so it's going to be one minus. Well, the probability they all fail is going to be uh, one minus that right the probability succeeds is 0.95 the probability it fails is 0.05 and then times one minus that okay and close the parentheses now we have to i could put parentheses around this too but i know i don't have to because it's going to multiply before it subtracts okay and then i'm going to take that times parentheses 1 minus, and then parentheses, 1 minus this times parentheses, 1 minus this. Close the parentheses twice. Okay? And if we hit enter, hopefully it's the same. So it's the same. All right? And take that to four places. Highlight the answer. Control C, Control V. Okay, so uh, rule three is handy if I would have another backup and another backup. It simplifies it a little bit. Rule one is kind of good for, I don't like to use rule one when I get a bunch of backups. Okay, so then we have one more. We'll make it a little bit trickier now. And we do one more. And we'll say uh, we have the above this. We have the same thing as above. But now we have a switch. So I put a switch in here. That's a 99% probability that that's going to be, that's going to operate. We don't need all the zeros. Do like that. Okay, so, so for the solution for that, um, whoops, I'm going to say I already have solution equal. So what we do here, I drew the switch kind of funny. I didn't really know how to draw the switch. So I just put something in there and called it a switch. Okay, so the way you would do this one is, uh, let me just show you. It makes sense if I just show you. So first of all, we're going to start here. So we have a 95. So I'm going to go parentheses. We have a 95% chance that this is getting... Oops. So I'm going to do it like the first method we did up here. Okay. Using rule 2. So I'm going to say equals parentheses. We have a 95% chance that this is going to work. Okay. If it doesn't work, then the probability it doesn't work is going to be 1 minus 95%. Okay, and then if you go down that route, then you have a switch in there. Probably that's going to work as that, and then you have a backup that probably that's going to work as that. Okay, so that's that one, and now we have to combine it with this. I'm going to go times parentheses, and the probability this is going to work as this. If that doesn't happen, if it doesn't work, it's going to be parentheses one minus this probability of fail and then it's going to be times this the switch and a 99% chance the switch is going to operate and then if that operates then there's a 94% chance that's going to work close the parentheses and enter okay and let's take that to four places we don't need to go more than four 98.96 percent chance that's going to happen so um, we throw that switch in there So the probability is a little bit less than this because we threw a switch in, right? And that switch wasn't 100% reliable. So anyway, hopefully that helps for Chapter 4S homework.
I had a student email me out and had a question on it, so I basically I figured if she had a question, someone else else has it. So I'm going to put my picture up here like usual. If you haven't subscribed and you like my videos, click on this picture and I will subscribe you. And also, if you like it, give me a thumbs up. So thank you very much. And that's it. That's it for, for today.